In part two of solving with logarithmic and exponential equations, we're going to concentrate on solving with just exponential equations. So in the directions of your homework problems would be to give the exact answer, and then I want you to use a calculator to approximate the exact answer to three decimal places. So you'll need your scientific calculator, graphing calculator, in which has the log or natural log button. Okay, because sometimes you're going to have to use the change of base formula so we can put it in our calculator. So the first example states 2 to the x equal 11. Give the exact answer and then use a calculator to approximate the exact answer to three decimal places. All right, so we start with 2 to the x equal 11. Now, I don't know how to solve this. The only other way was a previous section in which if I could get the same base on each side, then I can equate exponents. Notice 11 is prime. It will never be a base 2. So right away, we see 2 to the x equal 11. You will rewrite this in logarithmic form. meaning that you'll have log of your base 2 of the value 11 will equal your exponent x. Since my exponential part was isolated by itself on the left side and only a real number on the right side of the equation, I'm able to rewrite this in logarithmic form. These are two equivalent forms. One is in exponential form, one is in logarithmic form. Notice by just rewriting in logarithmic form, I've isolated x, and that is the exact form of my answer. So the first part of my answer would be x equals log base 2 of 11. So that is exact. To get the approximate answer, well, I would have to use the change of base formula to get log 11 over log 2. Again, this is from the Cobb, right, or change of base formula. Remember, we like corn on the Cobb. <laughs> so going to the calculator, go ahead and press log. 11, close your parenthesis, hit the division sign, hit log one more time, and put log 2. Close the parenthesis. Make sure you close the parentheses for each log and its value. You do not want to mix them up and not have parentheses because it ends up doing crazy order of operations. Okay, so hit enter. It wants you to approximate to three decimal places. So here's one, two, three places. Since this is the third place, you have to look at your test digit, which is the number directly to the right of it. So four, since four is less than five, nine stays. So we would have an approximate value for X of 3.459. So, or x is approximately 3.459. So these are the answers that you will have to give for the homework and for your exams and your quizzes. You would give an exact answer and then an approximate answer. For the second example, notice we have 5 to the 2x equal 3. So in this case, it's a little bit similar to the previous example, where the exponential part is isolated on the left of the equ equal sign, and then a real number on the right. So we can go ahead and rewrite this in logarithmic form.
where we would have log of the base, which is 5, of the value 3, equal to the exponent 2x. So notice right when we rewrite it in logarithmic form, we don't necessarily get x equals like the previous example, but we do get 2x. And so we could go ahead and divide each side by 2 and get x equals log base 5 of 3 over 2. So once again, this is the exact answer. And to get the approximate answer, we would go ahead and just rewrite log base 5 of 3 in the change of base formula. So we'll have x will be equal to, I'll kick out the 2 in the denominator to be 1 half times log of 3 over log of 5. So let's put this in the calculator and round to three decimal places. So I'm going to have in parentheses one half times log of three, close the parentheses, divided by log of five, close the parentheses, and go ahead and hit equals and round to three decimal places. One, two, three. Look at your test digit right next to it, which is a three, which is less than five, so one will stay. So we'll have 0 0.341. This is our approximate value. Moving on to the last example, where we have 3e to the negative 4x equal 20, remember that base e was Euler's constant, and it represents 2.718281, so it's like a, it's pi, it's an irrational number. Okay, so if we have 3e e to the negative 4x equal 20, notice the exponential part is not isolated here. We have a coefficient of 3, which was unlike the other two examples. This is what I need to isolate. So the first thing I have to do is isolate the exponential part. Well, I could easily do that by dividing each side by 3. So I would get e to the negative 4x equals 20 divided by 3. Now the exponential part, part is isolated, real number on the other side of the equal sign. Go ahead and rewrite in logarithmic form. Okay, so meaning I'll have log of the base e of the value 20 over 3 equal to the exponent negative 4x. Now recall log base e is that special log called natural log. So this is, in fact, natural log of 20 thirds equals negative 4x. And I can easily solve for x here by multiplying each side by negative 1 fourth. So then I go ahead and get x equal to negative 1 fourth natural log of 20 thirds. And this is the exact answer. What's nice about this problem, in order to get the approximate value, notice that it's natural log because we had log base e, which is the natural log. And we have that value right on our calculator, right underneath the log button. Perfect. So all I have to do is enter a negative 1 fourth 
times natural log of 20 thirds. So put parentheses around the first fraction, negative 1 fourth times natural log of 20 thirds. Make sure you put 20 thirds and close your parentheses. And this is equal to negative 0.474. So there's the third digit. Look at your test digit 2. It's lower than 5, so you go ahead and keep the 4. So it's negative 0.474. Negative 0.474. And this is the approximate value.